way out west. For a man is a man, a horse is a horse, and a fast draw can make for a long, healthy life. The West is a big territory, beautiful, wide, and free. And these days, there's a lot more of the West than we used to think back in the 1800s. You might say it stretches clear from a barbed wire fence way out there in East Berlin. Where a gun is still a gun. And a horse is still a horse. And they don't quite know for sure what a man is. Of course, that old quote from Horace Greeley to go west, young man, is still pretty well thought of over here. Yep, the West really starts with a bang, right here. It stretches on for a pretty far piece, across a good bit of Europe, clear across the Atlantic to our country, the United States of America. and over to that part of the world we used to call the Far East. Now, just like in the Old West, most good folks carry guns to protect themselves from the bad guys. But we still need what you might call a good sheriff. A man with a good fast draw that can kind of watch over the whole territory. And brother, that's a lot of territory. Well, sir, we got us a good one. A big fella and a real two-gun man. He wears that badge with a lot of authority, and he keeps a real close eye on things. Carries a couple of equalizers that are the deadliest shooting irons you ever did see. Yes, sir, I guess everybody, even those Easterners and all the bad guys, knows this fellow is the quickest draw in the West. Got a draw like greased lightning. With these sidearms of his, he can knock the eye out of a squirrel at more than 500 miles. The funny thing about our sheriff, he hasn't got even one notch on his guns. Just knowing that he's well armed and that he can get real mean if he has to, seems to keep things pretty peaceful. And these are the big peacemakers, hound dogs, he calls them. One of the most versatile and deadly weapons yet devised, and the most capable. By capable, I mean that once these fellows are told where to go and how to get there, there's nothing anyone can do to mess them up. Let's watch the sheriff and I'll show you what I mean. He's headed out to the target range now for a little practice.
there now. But that doesn't make any difference to the hound dog. He lets them go anywhere at all. They do just what he's told them. even higher, out of sight, going more than twice as fast as a 45 slug. Then drop in right on the nose. Or they can drop on down and barely skim over the ground, follow every hump and hollow in the terrain. This is real fancy shooting. Most of us country boys have never seen a sheriff before that can shoot around corners. Watch this. It can look like it's going somewhere else, kind of like a good boxer. And then at the right place, and it knows the right place, turn, go for the bread basket. No, sir, the bad guys can't see that punch coming. And when it lands, it's too late. She comes through the gap, up and over. Some shoot. That hound dog is sure a deadly sidearm, and it couldn't be in better hands. Yes, sir, our sheriff rides mighty tall in the saddle all over the West. The best thing is, even though he can take on all comers, he doesn't try to throw his weight around. He doesn't have to. You see, folks look up to our sheriff. All over the West. Even if they can't see him, they know he's around, keeping an eye on things. And Sure is. Those equalizers, the hound dogs, help make the sheriff more than a match for anything that might come up. Somehow, just knowing he's going to be there in case we need him makes us good guys sleep a little better at night. All over the West. <laughs> 